Hi, I'm Devin from T Equipment, a level two thermographer, and I'm here to talk about the FLIR E60, which is a camera I'm sure many of you are already familiar with, but it's a good thing to talk about anyway, because FLIR just brought them back for a limited time only at a reduced price. Uh, when they were first introduced, they were $8,000, and then they marked them down to five. And today we're running a special where it's $29.99 for this camera. So first things first, let's talk about the specifications. It is a 320 by 240 focal plane array, which is going to be excellent for most applications. It has 50 mil Kelvin resolution at 30 degrees Celsius, which equates to 0 0.05 degrees Celsius, which is excellent sensitivity. And you're also going to have a temperature range of negative 4 to 1202 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of the specifications. Now, for this price range, normally you, you might consider a camera like the FLIR E8, which would have that 320 by 240 uh, resolution. However, you, you wouldn't have the sensitivity or the temperature range. Another great thing about the E60 is that it is a manual focus camera. So you got this nice focus ring here. So you're not limited by the fixed focus view of a lot of the technician grade cameras. This allows you to really get up close to a target and get a nice in focus thermogram so you can get the best possible measurements. So this camera is enabled with all the modern features you might expect. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So I can talk to your smartphone and you can do instantaneous field reports. You can connect FLIR meter link enabled clamp meters and DMMs to see electrical measurements directly on the thermal image for consolidated reporting. Speaking of reporting, you're going to get the FLIR tools software suite for you with your purchase and that enables you to make professional reports on the PC. Uh, it includes templates and has a lot of good integrations for Microsoft Word. You can upgrade to FLIR Tools Plus, which makes those integrations even tighter. And you can do most of the work directly from Microsoft Word. This is also an interchangeable lens camera. So it comes standard with the 25 degree lens. However, you could get a telephoto or a wide view lens depending on your application. It has FLIR's patented MSX technology, which overlays the visual details on top of the thermal image, which is great to get context. I, when you look back at a thermal image of a breaker panel, unless you have very good focus and detail, you may not be able to identify the particular hotspots. So it's good to get any written labels in on the same image allows you to go back and, and fix what's wrong without too much guesswork. And you also have on-camera measurement features. You're able to draw three area boxes and three spot measurements. So that allows you to quickly make determinations in the field and not take more measurements than you need to because a lot of it's automatic. You can also connect a Bluetooth headset and take voice annotations while you're capturing an image. Again, this makes going back and performing the work you need to do based on your thermal study a, a lot more simplified because you don't need to rely on your memory. So it's really quite a nice camera for a good price. Now, uh, let, let's see what it looks like. So here's uh, Clear E60 looking at a window now. See, I'm just in and out of focus here. Not a lot of travel to the focus ring, but it does what it needs to. Got a nice sharp image there. You can see as I change the focus, the MSX distance, adjusting for parallax, shifts better onto the image. Now, if that's bothering me, just use the touch screen, go into image mode, and go just into thermal. It's going to do that calibration thing every every couple minutes. When you first turn it on and bring it into an environment, it's going to do it more often. As soon as it acclimates, it'll be, it'll be fairly 
not noticeable. Just a couple of seconds here or there. You can capture a single shot or videos. You do have the different picture modes, if you want picture in picture or just the camera for some reason. When you capture an image, you can, in the software, adjust whether you want picture in picture or just extract the digital image. So changing the image mode doesn't change what you can do with it after you've imported the images into FLIR tools. So you've got different temperature here inside that box. It's looking for the, the hottest point and showing you up here. You do the coolest as well. Good for scanning around the corners, seeing how much heat loss we have, seeing if we need to go back around with some caulking. Or I can do multiple spots and move them. I can change local parameters. So say I had different types of material in the scene, I could change the emissivity or I could change the object distance or the reflected temperature. You can also do a delta measurement. So there's lots of different things you can do. So that's the FLIR E60. Again, it's available in limited quantities, so please give us a call and we'll be happy to talk to you and see if it's a good fit for your application. I've been Devin, thermographer here at T-Equipment, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.